still don't understand why we're doing this. I don't either. I'm mad at Adrian, Adrian's mad at me. End of story. Just keep painting what you're feeling. Cause here's the deal. Art is more than pretty colors. It can help you process emotions, even resolve conflicts when you can't find the right words. Okay, paintbrushes down. Looks like we have similar themes at work here. We do? For starters, you both stayed inside the border. Nothing messy. Usually means a need for perfection. Hey, even stick figures have to be precise. Speaking of figures, you both drew more than one. That's my familia. Colorful and grande. Mine too. The two big ones are my older brothers and the little one's me. You both painted at the bottom of the canvas. Usually a sign of insecurity, but I think we can all agree that you two are the poster girls for confidence. <sighs> Not always. My papa is a respected diplomat around the world. My mama is fluent in six languages, and my abuela created Cafe Adams from nothing. Sometimes I wonder if I have what it takes to live up to their standard of excelencia. I can totally relate. Both of my brothers are freakishly accomplished. I'm always trying to do something crazy awesome so I don't live in the ginormous shadows. Sounds exhausting. It is. Sometimes trying to be perfect makes me do local things like losing it over a fallen souffle and pushing one of my best friends away. And sometimes when I feel like I failed at something, like letting down my best friend, I kind of get uptight and just walk away. I'm sorry, Bryden. Hey, look at that. Your time's up. Mm -hmm. He was just bombarding me with questions about food. He was asking about my timeline. And then out of nowhere, he knew I liked Froyo. Everybody loves Froyo. He was wearing a hoodie. Em, look around. Okay, I guess we have our work cut out for us. Hey, it's the camera. <laughs> Cause that's what you're gonna be doing after the tech fair. Snapping pictures of the winner. <laughs> Which would be me. <laughs> it's too late. Hey, Justino, just wait until you feast your eyes on Cam's water-powered racing car mobile. Red! <laughs> Before you say anything, it's a working title. How am I gonna get her to move? I have some homemade organic bunny-shaped marshmallows. They can turn a frown upside down. She doesn't really strike me as the bunny-shaped marshmallow kind of gal. You talking about me? No, just talking about lockers. They lock stuff inside them. Well, you do. I mean, I'm assuming you do. Not to accuse you of anything, although I am. But what I'm really trying to say here is I'm sure you know how lockers work. Is she always like this? It's kind of her thing. It's annoying. Who's the locker blocker? DeMarco. Devin DeMarco. She's a senior who just transferred from some fancy art school and she is not thrilled about it. She makes us nervous. I got this. Watch me work my social skills. Hey, Dev. Vin. Uh, I'm Michaela, but my friends call me Em. So, uh, here's the thing. You're kind of blocking my friend's locker and, you know, she needs to get her books, so... Go away. I'll go when I'm ready to go. She's ready. <laughs> you have a funny way of making friends, Chica.
Bienvenido. Maybe you're right. I didn't give them a fair chance. Maybe they were trying and I didn't know how to lead them. What's wrong with me? Why am I so stubborn, so difficult, so annoying? Was I born this way? No, sweetie. <clears throat> I mean, no, Agent McAllister, you were not born that way. But why don't we talk about this later, after you get the girls and find the prince? I guess I just always want people to do things my way or just do it myself. That's right. Now, back to your research. Maybe I shouldn't be so closed off. Let people in, let them help me. Great idea for the future. Time is ticking. Just open my eyes and I'll be so oblivious to the world around me. See what's right in front of you guys? What's going on? We got it, ma'am! I can't believe it! Go on! Go on! Uh-huh. <laughs> That's incredible! Amazing! So, where's the prince? We forgot to ask. I'll be right there. So, why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? <laughs> uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory methods. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Blackstar, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us? About what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? <sighs> Kinda late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstar's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. Since this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle, look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. Hey. Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be way cleaner. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Mm -hmm. well, everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. Uh, 
God, my head's cramping up. A screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. If anyone should be upset, it's me. I was stopped from deleting my hacker competition, just as I was prevented from ruining Dr. Tuttle. Well, now I'm just a flood of emotions. So maybe I'll take out Maywood Glen instead. Think you're miserable now? Just wait. By tomorrow night, you'll be drowning in your sorrows.